We are Ben and MP and we've been rebuilding this wooden spooner. We cannot wait to fill these square gaps with our new windows. But for that, we still need to finish building them and adding some last details. In the meantime, fiberglassing our roof is on hold because we're missing some materials. But that doesn't mean we'll be just sitting and waiting as there's always something to do. So we've been sanding this pilot house for about a week now. Machines and manual sanding. And I don't think we can get it any smoother than it is. So we're gonna clean this all up. Actually, Nick was already vacuuming a bit. And then we're gonna put the first layer of varnish on and hope it looks really nice. The varnish will make some bad bits stand out, which we can always sand off again and be better, but I think it's fine. So this is it, the first day is finished. Uh, where it already dried up already, we had some varnish left, we went over again, which is the start. Um, and it looks amazing. You can see the streaks of the brush, which were in line with the grain of the wood, which will dry out and sand down with a 600 grit sanding paper to make sure no dust is on top of it. And we'll go over it with one or two more coats, but that we'll see when we're uh, varnishing. There won't be as much sun here as the other parts, which are there. So, I think this looks amazing. Nico's side is nice and dry underneath. My side is a mess, but we're gonna sand the deck as well, luckily. Uh, take this tape off now as well, which is something I realized halfway. There we go. And I am very happy about this. It's something that's been like a lot of preparation. And now it's finally varnished. And it looks very, very nice. You can see the details in the wood, amazing.
think it's so cute the difference in sizes that what we're used to like this over here is plainer this little and cute sea clamps they're unbelievable also that tiny thing over there is the band so everything here is so cute All those windows have now been made but as you can see they've still got very sharp edges to them uh, two of them already well they haven't been made but they're almost the frames have been made these two already have round edges so it's just going over them right now with a sanding disc over the corners drawing around with a pencil so that, they, that can be cut off and then sanded and then that's about it for the woodwork and then it's going to be the window work which is the sliding the glass the mechanisms and all that so it's getting really close and of course, after that, it's going to be varnished. So let's get into this. See how, many, how long it will take for these to be cut into the right shapes. And then we can start heading over to the boat, kind of, with all the other parts. What's happening now on the windows is they're all four different parts at the moment and they are being epoxied together to look like this. So of course this is all going to be sanded, the shapes being made in it to receive the windows. So that's going to sit there and dry. Well one of the next steps is to put this little part in here which is where the window slides open and shut on. In this prototype there are two, one for each window that slides open and shut however we're going to have one of them that stays shut permanently and one that slides open so we're going to use bronze for this uh, still need to go and get some screws for it and the drill bit and then this is going to be one of the next steps because let's find it we've got the frames they've been varnished on the inside with three layers of PU varnish we've got the edges over here which go over here like that also varnished now the inside parts that are going to slide are being 
glued together and then one of the next parts is this going to be fastened in there screwed in with four screws to enable one of the windows to slide open A lot of the work on our windows now is also just sanding and varnishing and all that. So right now, it's been about two weeks that they've been like really getting the little corners with uh, up to 240, even 400 grit sanding paper, hand sanding paper. And now they have gone over all the 
parts of our windows with a compressor gun. So not only are they here drying, but they're almost ready to be brought to our boat. We're waiting for the glass to arrive still. But they're almost ready to be brought to our boat and reinstalled on the boat. So that's when we're really gonna see them in place. And it's really cool because the varnish before was all just a bit penetrating and now it's really going to make it very shiny and that's very very cool. Being very careful because our glasses arrived. This is the step that we were needing to continue with our windows construction. They're almost almost done. As you can see all this space it's huge and it's all being occupied by our windows. So many parts everywhere that we have. So this is a double layered window plus that is also, how do you call it? That doesn't break, like it gets just tempered. tempered, tempered glass. So it's against bad waves and against bad intention people also. So I'm excited about this. It's gonna be amazing. What's our dilemma now? So here you can see the glass is already in place. This is how it's gonna look. Ta -da. Ta -da. And now our dilemma is we need to hold the glass in place. We don't want to glue it because we want to be able to replace it in case it breaks. I would love to have it being held, held like this with bronze. I think it would look amazing, but as it's a bit expensive, we might just hold it with wood after all. But we're discussing that. If we should do it with wood, should it be the same color wood so you don't see it? Or shall we just do it with a different color wood so we have a little frame? What would look nicer? This is what we are discussing and we'll see. We'll let you know when we decide. So here you can see the purple wood option and here is the same wood that we used here but here is varnished and here it's not varnished yet so that's why you see the difference but this should look the same and this would not look the same because this is yellow and this is purple so should we just do it so it should just look the same and blend in or shall we give it a highlight with a different color of wood like this purple well, it would look nicer to be honest that's not really a right answer because it's really just a matter of taste do we want it to just blend in and look all the same or do we want to give it more character that's how we want the interior to be with more character and personality or just more plain and classic we really have to think this through and i am really not knowing what to do <laughs> I, I, I wish I could tell I am really leaning towards banana but I really don't know here but as these two layers of glass together they're not exactly aligned that was a mistake from the glass shop so they're not fitting perfectly but then now that guy over there is gonna open two millimeters around each one of those and then the glass will fit
I just came back from the windows and on my walk back here because it's just our neighbors there I was thinking that this glass situation is quite annoying because it's also annoying for the glass shop because they did do the windows in the right measurement the only thing is that because it's two layers they moved a bit and it was not exactly in the millimeters we needed so now all the frames we have need to be opened a bit because the glass doesn't fit which is quite annoying but this is what building an artisanal boat looks like a handmade boat looks like this there's no way that you go from where you want to go from where you are until where you want to go on a straight line there are always some obstacles that you have to go around and you get there eventually like look at the whole boat how your body is looking so many things didn't go as planned but we managed and we are here and it just shows more and more the skills of the people who are involved because honestly I freaked out when I saw that the glass didn't fit but there the ship rides they just like okay we're gonna make it work don't worry and this is what building a boat this way is like before saying bye we would like to welcome our new patrons Vicky, Steve and Eric and also thank the PayPal donations from Live Oak, Annette, Brenda and Robert. And all the people who joined us on Super Thanks. Alan, Paul, Ferry, Ghost, Perry, Herban, DJP, Michael, Norman, Doug, Franz, Frode, Adrian, Duane, Joni, J. Davis, Paige, Jordanis, Mike, Burr, PPB17, Lauro, Canvas Homes USA, Henrik, Eric, D. Miller, Michael, and Matt. Super thanks to everyone. Your support means everything to us. Till next week.